Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today we're back at Mount Kelly and uh, we're working some back end speed with the guys. We've got seven of the guys in today. We've got a mix of strokes going to be happening, but we're warming up right now with 650s. This is their skull one or whatever Michael's doing right now. Um, and then we have two drill. Then we're going to get the heart rate up a little bit, get the speed going. And the main set is going to be three rounds of 100 off the blocks and then a 400 recovery with fins. And basically the three 100s, they always have the second 50 as back end speed, as fast as you can go from the turn. And the first 50 will descend one to three. So the first, the first 100 is going to be a red six, so like a, you know, a high heart rate, but pretty relaxed, not fast at all. And then they're going to turn and race back as fast as they can. And they should probably even be able to get their second 50 faster than actually what they do in a race. And then the next 100 after the swim down, they go out a little faster, but try and maintain that back end. And that last one, they're going to go purple nine, then purple 10 on the back end. And you'll probably see that their second 50 gets a little slower, but the overall hundreds will get quicker each time. And you're just trying to maintain that process on the back end. Cam, because he's racing, we're not going to have ask for as much. So he's going to go slower on the first 50. And uh, on the last one, we'll just go a purple eight into a purple 10 back end 50. Okay, guys, we're going to get the heart rate up now. So we're going to go two 100s freestyle on 130. You've got to make the turnaround. They're red seven on the effort. So, you know, that higher heart rate, unless you're Fritz, you'll probably get to about 75 heart rate and goes 59s. Um, Cam, you can wear fins or do these a lower effort, but I still think you should get your heart rate up a little bit. And we're going to leave on the red 30, so in 20 seconds. Two, one. Five parts fine. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. about is the hundreds okay and there's three of them the idea is we're gonna do the second 50 as close to what you would do in a race so i put down here seb you're gonna try and go 34 zero quick on the way back alex 36 5 jack 32 zero michael who's somewhere over there 28 5 isis 42 zero fritz 9 5 cam 33 5 okay first one is 50 red six and then that 50 okay so it's a strong effort, but it's not a crazy effort, all right? Two, two, out in 32-2, then 29-9. 32-2, 29-9. Jim Arks. Up. So, Fritz's first effort. I've told him to go super slow. He struggles with going slow. He has gone past 15, though. Um, the reason we're going from a start is just we don't get loads of opportunities to practice dives, and I just think, slower! 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 I just want to use opportunities to practice dives that we get. And um, I think it's healthy for us to break the stives. Um, I mean, I said I wanted Fritz going out in 33. He's gone out in 30.7. I mean, if he goes sub minute here, he's done a great job on a one off 100. But I mean, even I want him pushing 15 off the wall. No one's really understanding what I want to do on this set. Um, he has increased his stroke rate. 
to 38. But, I mean, it's not really the point. 30.7. No one gets this set. It's really annoying. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get it. Alex, is the, Alex and Michael are the only negative splits. Okay, you were negative split. 30.7, 30.5 for a 61 2. Four back in 42.8. Oh, 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 The kids found it really hard in this set not going out too quick, especially because it was going from the blocks. And everyone went out way too quick on the first rep and didn't come back quick enough, with the exception of Cam, who really lengthened out his stroke. He went out in 38 seconds and managed to back end in 33-2, which is actually quicker than his fastest back end of the season, which has been 33-4 on two occasions. He then, on his next rep, went out way quicker in 34-2 and still managed to come back in 33-2 for a 67-4 negative split which when you think about it is pretty damn good and I love Cam Stroke here you can see how well he couples his pull with his kick he shoots his hands forwards just at the propulsion phase of the kick gets his eyes down and gets into a perfect streamline before initiating his next stroke even with a high stroke rate and 10 days out of British Champs we're really excited about what he can do nice job hands up if you think your target time Cam you can just guess if you beat Hands up if you beat your target time. Oh, you guess you beat your target time? I've got a bow on it. Cam was the only person who beat his target time. Oh, Out in 38.3, back in 33.2, 111.6. Do a good job, Cam. Whatever you want. 38.3. 38.3, 33.2. Good break from 58 up to 60. What was my target time? 33.5? 35. That's better than any back end you've had all year. And that's a wrap on the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, as well as checking out my website, www.theswimsuitguy.co.uk for my merch, but also for custom training programs where I can write sessions like this for you. Now, I will do a quick debrief of the session because I weren't completely happy with how the kids tackled the set and they definitely struggled to comprehend what exactly was being asked of them. There was a clip there was a clear focus on what the set was trying to develop in back end speed. And the whole point was that you started really slow on the first 50 and ended up getting a little faster on the first 50, but always hit the back end 50. And you can only hit the back end 50 if you start slow enough. And with the exception of Cam, the kids went out too fast. And therefore, because we're in training, they're not going to hit a world class back end 50. But that being said, we all learned and we modified the set on the fly to end up really just trying to make the focus doing a negative split and take the focus away from descending the first 50. And I think, one, we have to be able to modify our sessions like that and be a little bit more malleable on the fly. But two, there is now a great opportunity for us to revisit that set in the next few weeks and the kids will understand what's being asked of them and then do a better job and, again, get gains from doing that. So 
There's never a waste of time in swimming. There's never a failure. And if kids do a bad job of something that you're asking of them, it's probably because it's an area of their swimming that they need to develop. In this case, pacing. The kids are all going to be better at pacing for the set we've done this morning. And when it comes to the next meet, they're going to understand more of what I'm asking for them in terms of how they're going to split a race because they clearly didn't on this specific set. And now we're developing and moving forwards on that. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.